Hey guys, uh, welcome to the second part of our uh, layer app tutorial using Zap. Uh, this part we're just going to show you how to get your code files that Zap has created for us and uh, put them into a new Xcode project and we're just going to go through a rather large amount of settings uh, but just as long as you follow them one by one and just make sure that you're pausing uh, whenever possible to make sure you followed that step. Uh, as long as you follow it correctly, uh, then yeah, we shouldn't have any problems. And on your side, you're not going to have to type one bit of code at all, which I think is pretty damn awesome. Okay, let's just get into it. So open up Xcode 4 and we're just going to create a new Windows-based application. Um, name it whatever you like. Okay. So now I'm just doing a bit of clean up at the start. I uh, just want to follow the on-screen prompts, well, on-screen video. And yeah, just, we're just deleting a bunch of files we don't need. Uh, the DAP's essentially going to replace. Just now I've already got my finder window open where I've unzipped uh, my DAP exported files. I'm just drag them across, make sure you copy them. Great. Okay, now I'm just going to change a bunch of info.plist settings. Uh, we're just going to create a new key. And that key is called UI Required Device Capabilities. Just make sure you spell that correctly. Um, this is just where we're going to put in uh, what our device needs to play these layer apps. And that's all of them. Now we're just going to go in and we're going to add our frameworks. The layer does need uh, quite a large amount of frameworks, understandably. Let's just follow the instructions again. Again, all these instructions are in the documentation that Layer does provide. So if you're not sure about something or if you want to go over it, uh, just look up the instructions and it should all be in there. Awesome, finally, that should be all of them. And I'm just going to do a, a bunch of stuff in our build settings. Once again, uh, this is in the documentation and I'm just following each step one by one. Yeah, I, I'm just careful to make sure that I do have all these build settings uh, in project and targets. Notice that usually they do get copied across, but I've had some problems with this before, so I just like to double check anyway. Important as well because I think I've had two or three attempts in getting this set up, and it's just all it took was one little error, and I had to go back to square one, start all over again. But as long as you follow these instructions, you should be okay. I'm just grabbing these folders from the layer player SDK. Um, folders we need are debug, include, and release. And you'll see in our info doc, sorry, in our uh, project build settings, we'll actually be linking to these folders, uh, which is just which is just going to come up now. 
Um, you'll also note that I've just dragged over the frameworks into the frameworks folder just to keep things neat. That's just our header search parts that we need for layer. Just telling it where the include file is. Uh, that dot tells Xcode to look in the current project directory. Just bear with this, it does take a little while. But in future it might be worth uh, creating a template project and then uh, you want to save a copy of that project and then whenever you create a new DAP project and export to code, you can just uh, duplicate that project and drop in your DAP files and you shouldn't have any problems. Um, that's it, we're done. Um, just building it across over onto an iPhone right now. I lie actually, I haven't got it up to that bit yet. Um, the next bit we have to do is we're just going into the code and we're going to import uh, the code that we need to run um, our layer AR file, so to speak. You'll see I'm just importing the layer player header file, uh, that is critical. Actually opens up our game layers view controller to do this in, which is where we got, um, especially our, our action code, which is what's calling, which, which is what our, uh, I guess, table view cells are calling when we tap on them. You'll see I've just pasted in uh, pretty much a convenience method that we can use to load layers. So um, this method is actually included in the documentation as well, and I'll have a copy of it available uh, as part of this tutorial on the DAP website. And now that's it. Um, what we need to do now is just call our convenience method, and it, with your AR that you've created, you'll have your own uh, layer name, consumer key, and, and a secret key, which as you can see, I've got an example layer right there, um, which again, you are free to use this layer for your own tests. And now, we are done. That's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. You'll see that I am actually running this app on my iPhone. I'll also include some screenshots on the website just so you can see uh, what it looks like and, and it running. Um, yeah, uh, feel free to ask any questions on the website and look forward to the next tutorial. Thank you.